everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. Hey, I have got a double feature flashcard lined up for you. We're gonna be featuring the bundle under my umbrella. What I love about this is that we were able to just kind of mix up the two different flashcards. Oh, and let me show you. We are even using a little bit there on the inside as well. Great way to get a lot of bang for your buck. Now, I'm gonna have the measurements for you here in the video, but if you'll look down in the description there in YouTube, you will find a link to my blog. I'll have the photos, I'll have the measurements, uh, the complete supply list. So if you need to order any of the supplies, you can click a pick and get that. But let's go over the supplies that you need to create today's cards. The supplies you need to create these cards is minimal. We like that. I've got two card bases today, Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green. They are both cut and scored the same, and they are cut four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half inches. My flashcard pieces are Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. They are identical in size, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And again, those are part of the flashcard series. If you're not familiar with that, I'll have a link um, available in the corner for you. And every flashcard needs a layering piece. We're gonna use Whisper White today. These are also identical, two and a half by four inches. Having the stamped image on the inside is optional, but if you choose to do that, I have two pieces of Whisper White, four inches by five and a quarter. My ink pad colors match my cardstock, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and then we'll also be using our Memento Tuxedo Black uh, ink pad. We are going to be using the Stampin' Blends today. So I have the combo of Flirty Flamingo, the combo of Mango Melody, a light Granny Apple Green, and a light Smoky Slate. The star of the show today is the Under My Umbrella Bundle. So you can see we have a really great punch. It has an open umbrella, a partially open umbrella, and the handle. But look at this fabulous stamp set that goes along with it. Lots of sentiments, these little rain boots, and flowers that can go inside. Just lots of really fun images here. This is going to be a set that you're going to be able to use for a lot of different occasions. All right, let's get to creating and we're gonna be using the punch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little creative here. I have got the open umbrella and I'm going to stamp it here at the top of my flashcard. I'm gonna do that on both of them. You wanna leave a little bit of space, but not too much because we want that punch to be able to work. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to insert that cardstock into the punch and you notice it's gonna punch out these other pieces. And I wanna make sure I'm not getting too close down here at the bottom, but not to worry, as long as we can cover it with that Whisper White, we're okay. So that one's fine. Let's go ahead and punch out the Coastal Cabana. All right, there are my pieces, but you know what guys? I need one more handle. Let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm just going to bring that punch back in and I'm gonna just kind of line it up with that previous handle. I got a lot of garbage here, you know, all of this that I don't need. What I do need is that. So you can see where I punched my second um, handle. Let's repeat that right here on the Flirty Flamingo as well. All right, I'm gonna set those off to the side. Now we have these pieces that have not been stamped. But good news, these are photopolymer, so I can lay these out and I'm just gonna stamp right on top. But look, because it's photopolymer, I can easily see where I'm stamping. Yep. Easy peasy, look at that. All right, let's repeat that on this flirty flamingo. By the way, and there we go. Now, there is a stamp for the handle. And believe it or not, guys, this one is actually very, very easy to do. So let's go ahead. I just like the look of all of them having the black image. So I am going to add the little handle inside all four of my images. Okay, those images are done. Now let's bring in our Whisper White and our little rain boots. Oh my gosh, I just love these. So we're gonna stamp these down in the bottom right corner. We're gonna do that on both. Remember, these cards are identical. And there are some really sweet flowers. There's a lot of flowers in this set, but we're gonna add these right here to the top of the rain boots. Now we'll add our sentiment here at the top. And I'm going to add the little raindrops. I think these are super cute. 
And hey, I hope that you guys are enjoying the flashcard series. If you are, uh, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. That's so nice. All right, I'm going to stop with my stamping for now so that I can color. I do have a little bit more to do for the inside. All right, we are ready to color. So um, I'm going to use some grid paper underneath me because remember, we are using the blends and they will bleed through. So I wanna make sure I'm protecting my tabletop. So I'm gonna start with the Mango Melody and I'm gonna start with the light and I'm going to color in. In fact, you know what guys, I'm just gonna work on the one, um, but everything you see me do, we're gonna repeat on the other. So we're gonna color in these boots. And if you've not worked with blends, let me tell you what I love. You don't have to have nice straight lines. The alcohol in the Stampin' Blends, just they blend together so well. All right, so I'm just gonna color in light. I didn't bother with the top and the bottom of the boots because we're gonna actually come in now with the dark and we're gonna give that a little accent, super cute. Let's get the top here. Now I wanna add a little highlight. So I'm gonna take that thick tip and I'm literally just gonna scribble a line. I mean, how easy was that? Now I'll come in with the light and I'm just gonna kinda pick up that ink and do you see how it just blends in? All right, now we'll color in our flowers and I'll use the light flirty flamingo for the flowers. So I'm gonna just color them all in simply. Then we'll come in and add our highlight with the dark. And for me, I'm going to color in the, the centers and then I'm just gonna kinda give a little outline with this dark flirty flamingo. Remember, you don't have to get fancy because we're about to blend. So a lot of this you won't even see. You will when you blend, but as far as those harsh lines, you don't need to worry about it. See, we just take that light and we blend those two colors together. You do have to blend for a little bit because you've gotta get that alcohol wet again. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're just gonna take our Granny Apple Green Light and I'm just gonna color in the leaves. There just wasn't enough for me to go ahead and bring in and do the highlight with the dark. So, you know what? We're just gonna color those in. Now this little space right here, yeah, I'm gonna color that green as well, kinda helps fill it in. All right, now we're gonna add a little highlight to the bottom of these rain boots. And we're gonna do that with the um, Smoky Slate Light. And guys, this, oh my gosh, I think this is one of my favorite techniques. We're gonna start about right here. And I am just going to add a highlight. I'm gonna bring it up here. And it doesn't matter how neat and clean, give that a minute. It's gonna dry super smooth, really nice. There's not gonna be dark spots or anything. But now we have a nice little kind of little shadow underneath our I'm boots. I'm gonna go ahead and color my other one. All right, these are ready to go. So we're gonna adhere these, both of these images onto our flashcards. You know what, this is a good opportunity for me to show you. If you got a little close to the edge, just look at me, just that tiny little bit. But guess what? If you'll make sure that is over on your left side, you're gonna be able to cover it with the umbrella. So I am gonna add that right there. So I don't even have to worry if I got too close, I can fix it. It is time to put our umbrellas together and we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to do that. So I'm going to start with a Coastal Cabana and I'm going to lay my um, handle right here. And you see, it's a really, really little tight fit. I'm gonna use a Stampin' Dimensional right on top of it and that's gonna secure that just fine. And now I can add dimensionals on either side. Now the remaining two umbrellas actually are gonna go on the inside. So I'm not going to be able to use that technique. I don't, don't want dimensionals on the inside of my card. So you can see just a little bit of snail. We'll hold that down and there we go. So all my umbrellas are ready. Let's do a little stamping on our card bases. So I'm gonna start with my Granny Apple Green ink pad and I've got another set of flowers. And guys, we are just simply going to go all around our card base. You're gonna do the exact same thing with the Mango Melody ink pad and your Mango Melody card stock. But we're gonna go all the way around. You notice I kind of rotated as I went. Now, the way this is gonna go together, here on the left side, I need just a few more. 
So I'm going to come and fill in just a few more here. I suppose I could tell you to do everything, but most of that is going to be covered. I'm going to clean my stamp and I'm going to repeat this exact same process here on my Mango Melody card base. You notice I had my grid paper underneath me because I did go off the cardstock. All right, let's put our cards together. We'll add the Coastal Cabana to the right side of the Granny Apple Green cardstock. Isn't that a great color combination? Love it. Look at this uh, flirty flamingo on the Mango Melody. So pretty. All right, we've got those adhered down. Now we're going to bring in our large umbrellas and we're gonna use the opposite color. So I'm gonna use the Coastal Cabana with the Flirty Flamingo. So we'll peel off the backings and just add our umbrella there. Now I can bring in the other. Remember that little spot? It's gone now. We're just gonna cover it up. All right, now I wanna show you what the insides of the cards will look like. So you can see I stamped, there's another little um, flower that kind of goes inside the umbrella. I stamped those on those two pieces of Whisper White for the inside. I added my No Matter the Weather, We're Friends Forever and some raindrops. And you can see, of course, I colored those in with the same technique that I did with the Stampin' Blends. No matter what the weather, these cards are gonna hit this spot with your friends. And how can you not smile with those little flowers in yellow rain boots, right? Thanks so much for being here today. Hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't become a subscriber, click that great big red subscribe button. And if you like the cards that I have to share, share it with a friend. I would love that. Guys, have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.